So this is basically the end of season for me and I'm just trying out new equipment. And right now I'm just experimenting with a bergstock to see what it will do in terms of control. I'm not really going to get hurt if I fall down. I just want to see how much control this stuff gives me. After all, it's just a stick. But this is just an exercise to see how much control the bergstock will give me. Put myself on this shelf. So that's all part of the learning experience. You know, gives me the freedom to stretch the legs and check. Okay, there's a bit of ice here, but the boot is okay there. Ah, oh, it's amazing what I spend money on. That's a stupid way to spend money. So this was just an incredibly expensive stick. But if I don't fall and if I actually bring it and if I stay a little more safe, it's going to be worth it. Other than that, I will do one trade show and uh, sometime this spring or summer we'll be back with the tuition. Well, it's fair to say that this isn't my favorite, but I have to do some work at the trade show. And there are so many people and so much concrete. Okay, let's see if we can find some friendly faces. Hi, son. Jorn from Blaser Norge here. We are on Messe. I hope that you can stick in. Here will you meet a lot of people who have the same engagement for jakt and weapons as you. We will meet specialists, see new things, maybe new things. And we will find something that will pass you and your jakt. Meanwhile, I enjoy some scenery on my field, hunting trips. See ya. Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. So we're back in Ireland. I think I have around six Sika around me. It's a giant stag back here. There's a small one there with a hind. And there's at least three hinds down there as well. So we'll have to figure out what to do. It's about 470, so I can shoot it all right from here, but I'd rather not do that. I would like to get some good photos of it uh, this time. Martin's on the other side here, <laughs> getting very excited. Four one five. How many clicks? Thirty one. Thirty one. Thirty two. So is it normal that we are getting this seek out in the daylight, like this? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. You get them out midday, like, up here there's no activity in it. Yeah. So they're, they're safe and feel safe here, you know. It's fairly remote up here, so you don't, you don't get much human activity. Step. So now the seek is hidden behind a bush with a rump towards me. Absolutely no shot. 
and have a wind left to right and I'm seeing the movement on the grass so that means I'll be aiming just to the left of where I want to hit Sam, get out of the way. Sam. Not feeling too proud about this, but just have to own up to it. Okay, chamber is empty. We're going to pack down. They don't seem to be too disturbed by the sheep. No, but you find that they don't graze with, uh, with sheep much. They're, they're happy enough in this kind of environment. Just a yellowy grass. And they're, they're not too bad with, with, with rain, but if there's wind and rain, yep. they don't like being exposed to it because it gets up under their coat. Yep. And the reason we picked this area today was because it's a sheltered area. So we had a great chance of seeing deer. So we've seen quite a few. Some couple of big stags and a few nice females and a young yeah. stag over here to our left as well. But, uh, yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. Way off. That was my point of aim. So that was that shit show finished. I think we have arrived that there is something wrong with the scope, so we'll try and change the scope. And we'll be back at it tomorrow, so... We got lucky, no damage to the deer. So you can basically say what you want about that shot. But the matter of fact is, I did not check the rifle before I went hunting, so that's all on me. I chose the bullet trigger and I didn't check the rifle before I did that hunting. So, I made a mistake, I got lucky, and I'm displaying it here, so hopefully you can avoid that mistake. Okay, so I'll see you later this spring, I think, and uh, it will be more online shooting school, and we'll see if we can dig up something that's going to be relevant for you as a hunter and shooter. Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon, so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.